Now, news out of Tassie is that finally, what feels like many, many weeks, but still, it's not... The, OK, it's been a long time. Jeremy Rockcliffe will remain as the Premier of Tasmania. We know that because, of course, the Labor Party, nowhere near being able to cobble together some sort of a coalition. Well, guess what happened today? Formally, the Jackie Lambie Network members, three of them, have added together with a couple of other independents and they are now going to back in the Rockcliffe government. Now, again, in the interests of transparency, what I was quite interested in was that, unlike the arrangement that kept Julia Gillard in power for three years... Jeremy Rockcliffe today actually released the document. These are the terms and the conditions by which his government will be held in office, and that's all available on his Twitter feed. For my sins, I've actually read the document, the deal, the contract between the Jackie Lambie MPs, the Premier and the Liberal Party. Now, what's interesting about all of this is a couple of clauses, including a poison pill in here that the media, if they've reported at all, they are reporting it at the very, very, very bottom of the story. All right. The first thing here is that, uh, that they maintain the right to while keeping the government in power and they will not vote for the government to fall. They obviously say that they would be willing to vote against government legislation, but they will have to give the government written uh, response, 24 hours heads up before a vote in the parliament so there's not going to be little shocks while things take place. There's also a suggestion that uh, the members should be able to lobby directly to the Treasurer for uh, spending to happen in their electorates. That's nothing particularly controversial, but expected there. Uh, also, however, there's going to be an increase in the number of staff, so they're not going to have as many people as the opposition. In fact, they're going to end up with more than uh, shadow ministers because they're going to have not quite a function in government, but because they're the people needing to keep an eye on every single thing in order to pass it, they're going to be given a total of four extra full-time staffers. That's for the three MPs, so one each plus one over the top. There's also going to be a special version of a Royal Commission which is going to happen. It's going to be a commission of inquiry into the Tasmanian government's responses to child sexual abuse in institutional settings. So a Royal Commission specifically about Tasmania in relation to that is going to be the most obvious thing that happens, the most obvious price the government will pay. But then Section 8, number 2. don't really know my legal documents that well, but still. The agreement will be reviewed 12 months after the date it comes into effect. So we have signatures, we have a government, but we have a promise that in Tasmania... It will only exist for one year.